March 26, 1827. A date that will go down in history, so my uncle says. I don't care about history. All I know is that the world has lost Ludwig von Beethoven. He's gone and I'll miss him. There was a time when I got to know him very well. It wasn't a very happy time for me. My father had just died. And to make things worse, Mr. Beethoven moved in upstairs. It was pure luck. I heard the man was looking for a studio. Really very privileged, Christoph, to have such a great composer living under your roof. All my classmates at the conservatory are crazy with envy. Try to look upon this as a bit of an adventure. Christoph, your mother's worried. You've got to try to pull yourself out of this mood you're in. You've got to think of her. I know these past few months have been hard on you. I miss your father, too. Remember, he was my only brother. I know how you feel. No, you don't, Uncle Kurt. He's here. Careful of the walls. Sophie, grab the twins. They're getting in the way. It, it'll all be fine. He just has to settle in. It's a very difficult time for you. It is for me as well. But just try to help me, not hinder me. Christoph. Make him go away. I don't want a stranger living in our house, especially a madman. One night he might murder us all in our beds. Oh, no. I know he seems a bit peculiar, but... Peculiar? Listen to that. <laughs> You shouldn't blame him. I'm not sure the poor man can hear all the noise he makes. Mother, how dare he move into father's office and take his place? How dare he take over as if, as if he is the owner and we are the lodgers? Christoph, we have to give Mr. Beethoven a chance. We need the income. You're the man of the house now. And you have to try to understand our situation. Please. I miss father. Christoph, eat your porridge. It's dreadful when it's cold. It's dreadful when it's hot. Sixty beans he wants. Sixty beans in each and every cup of coffee. And he wants to count them. And he threw my perfectly good breakfast on the floor. I don't eat breakfast, he says. I always eat out, he says, high and mighty like. Well, that's the best news I heard so far, I says to him. Mark my words, madam. I won't be long in this house with him in it. Mr. 
My name is Schindler. Is this the residence of Mr. Beethoven? No. He has moved away. Away? Are you sure? I realize my friend is restless. But he has a reputation for moving from place to place in fairly quick order. But two days? Surely not. You mean he doesn't stay in one place for very long? Not in my experience. He's just gone out. Ah. Well, I won't wait, but uh, please give him my card. Where does he find these places? He can say he's seen Beethoven create. <laughs> Lord help me, there's things growing on this food. Let's see. Ugh, Sophie. Oh, I wish he'd stuck to his vow to eat out. But he seems to have grown attached to my bread pudding. Not that I blame him. My husband says it's the best in Vienna. I think he married me for it. <laughs> Sophie, tell mother. Then she'll have to make a move. Oh, it's not my place to tell your mother anything. But she'll listen to you. Talk to your Uncle Kurt. This was all his idea. What I'd like to know is where he disappears to every day. He's up to no good. That's what my husband says. He probably drinks. Mm -hmm. 